guys, I wanted to do a kind of interesting haul for you today. Uh, usually the haul videos that I do involve me actually going out and shopping for something. Uh, but today it's a internet haul because I did a little bit of shopping on Avon. It's been a really long time since I even looked at Avon. It's been, I don't know, over a decade probably since I've used anything from Avon. Um, and I have to say, I was really impressed with the selection. I feel like their products have really grown and kind of come a long way. The prices are a little bit more than I remember, um, but that kind of goes hand in hand with improving improving the product line. Um, so I had, I think, I can't remember how it came up, something on my Facebook page, I'd said something about Avon, or I can't remember what happened, but at any rate, a subscriber of mine, Amanda Russ, uh, mentioned to me, or she sent me a little email saying that she sold Avon, and that if I wanted to check it out, she sent me her um, kind of link um, so that I could use her as my kind of consultant or whatever you call it in Avon. So I hemmed and hawed over it for like a month or two. I don't even remember. Uh, I think I wrote her several times asking questions and she was so gracious and just wrote me back every time asking, answering my neurotic questions um, and probably thinking this girl is never going to order anything. But I finally did. So I ordered those online. They shipped to me very quickly. Um, the shipping was pretty inexpensive. I'll put the price here because I can't remember it off the top of my head. And I got them in like a week, probably less. And um, very impressed when I opened the box because I thought the boxes just looked really nice and kind of classy. Uh, here's one of the boxes here. Just very simple black, you know, but I just think it looks kind of nice. And all the products I think are just really lovely. Uh, some of them I love more than others, but of course that's going to happen in any kind of uh, makeup haul that you do. I will be doing a tutorial with some of them um, in the coming weeks, so I'll definitely uh, be posting that for you as well. This is just kind of a, hey, this is what I purchased kind of thing. Um, the first thing I got was a nail polish. I got one of the brushed metals uh, nail polishes, and the color is textured topaz, like an antique gold and silver combo. Um, I went ahead and swatched it here for you so you could see it. And I tried to pick out something that's different from the other metallics that I have. It is a little bit chunky, meaning that the glitter particles are rather big. Um, but it gives it an interesting texture, I think, that catches the light kind of nice. The one drawback um, is that it doesn't have a very shiny finish. Um, but that really wasn't a huge problem for me because I always use a top coat. It really came off pretty easily and that's the other thing I was kind of concerned about was like uh, glitter nail polishes are always a beast to get off your nails. Um, but this actually seemed to come off without much effort so I was really excited about that. Uh, my main reason for, I'm remembering now, why I, the Avon topic came up. Um, I think I put something on Facebook about mascara. And I believe it was Amanda made a comment about this mascara, which is the Mega Effects Mascara by Avon. That's kind of been a really hot topic uh, mascara on YouTube and the internet and blogs and things like that lately. Um, mainly because of its unique applicator. Um, it kind of looks like a paintbrush. I'm always afraid to pull it out. Okay. Um, so instead of your traditional mascara wand, it looks like this. Um, it has the bristles that go all the way around. This is rotating like that. Um, and it basically just goes right inside of this little, almost like a paint bucket, I guess, um, that holds the mascara. It's soft, so you can actually kind of squeeze it a little bit. Um, if you were, maybe the product were to dry or something, you could actually kind of work it with your fingers. Um, and then this little cap fits on top of it. I've only used it once, so I can't really say anything just yet. Um, it freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> I have to be honest, it, it's a little bit weird, but I think that anything that's new like that is really strange because all I've ever been conditioned to use, of course, is a wand mascara. So of course it's going to be strange. And because I've only used it once, I can't really give you a review of it just yet. I have to use it a little bit more. Um, the color is black. It's not black as black or anything like that. And I believe it only comes in black. So if you're in the market for a brown mascara, this is not the direction you want to go. Um, it's $10. I think that's the price, um, which is a little bit more than your average kind of drugstore mascara, but definitely less than something you would buy at the department store. Um, so it kind of shoots in the middle as far as pricing. I do think it's a unique concept. 
I'm just not sold on it yet, but I'm going to try it some more and I'll probably do a review in two for you guys in a couple of weeks when I've been able to use it for a little bit longer. While I was on the site, I was just kind of surfing around looking at blushes and things and I came across this one, which I thought was so pretty. It's like a gradient blush. You can see it has like pink, peach, and then kind of a bronze color. Um, and it's not glittery, it's shimmery. And this is called Fiji Paradise all over face powder. I do have to say I would not wear this as an all over powder because it does kind of have a peachy orangey color to it which I love for my cheeks. I do not want my face to be that color. Um, perhaps if I had a tan that's probably what they're meaning if you have a tan. I think it was kind of a leftover summer product because I do believe it was on clearance. Um, it does say that the color is Tropical Sunrise but I thought the color was Fiji Paradise. I'm a little confused on that, but I do think it's a really nice product. I've been using it for blush lately. It's very soft. Um, here, I'll kind of... You can see the three colors there, kind of the peach, I mean the pink, the peach, and the bronze all together, which gives you that kind of glowy peach look. That's why I wouldn't wear it as an all over because it does have a really orange color to it. I love it as a blush. I think the texture is really nice. It's not powdery at all. It's almost like satiny feeling um, and it doesn't, when you kind of buff your or roll your brush in there, it doesn't have a lot of fallout, which I noticed from some less expensive blushes. When you do that, there's just like all this fallout everywhere. Um, but this one actually stays put pretty well. And the packaging is really cute because it has like a little hibiscus flower on it um, with the Avon and turquoise, which I kind of like. I got a couple of lip products, the Totally Kissable Lipstick. I just wanted to really try the formula more than anything because I think that's the most important thing to nail down is a formula that you really like. So. I picked up this color first, which is called Natural Glow. Obviously, it's a very nude lipstick color. There's a swatch of it. You can see it's kind of shimmery, just a really pretty nude. First off, I love the packaging. I think it's really pretty. It's just this kind of classic silver. And I love that there's, you know, Avon kind of stamped on the lipstick itself. I think that's kind of a nice touch. The formula is awesome. I have worn these and worn these for the last couple of weeks. I'm absolutely sold on the formula and they're really inexpensive. I did pick up two and the other color is called Racy Red. That's the Racy Red color. And although it says Racy Red, to me it's very much a berry color. I think it kind of turns a little bit on my lips because it does look really red on my hand. However, when I put it on my lips, to me, it looks a little bit more of a berry shade. And I told Mr. Daily Glamour just the other day, I'm like, this is going to be my signature shade for fall because I love it that much. It's creamy. It goes on very smooth and kind of just one coat. It really lasts for a really long time. And the most, most important thing to me about lipstick is how it wears. Not how long it wears, but how it wears. I don't mind reapplying lipstick. That doesn't bother me. I hate when lipsticks, number one, kind of leave that like weird film on the inside edge of your mouth. Um, or they wear unevenly. So for instance, on the inside it gets, or on the inside part of your mouth, that wears off, but then you're left with this like really awkward looking ring around your mouth. Um, I don't want to look like a blow up doll, so I don't like that. Um, but this I find wears very evenly. It kind of fades over the day as opposed to wearing in certain places. And then I just reapply it. Really awesome. I love these. I can't tell you how much I love them enough. Um, I picked up a couple of these, which are extra lasting eyeshadow pencils. These actually uh, are automatic roll up pencils. Um, and I wasn't so sure about them. I thought, well, I'll give it a go and see what I think. So the two colors that I got, this is the first one that's called Amethyst. You can tell I've been wearing it quite a bit. Um, and it looks kind of like this. Um, it's like a taupey color with a little bit of a purple to it. The tiniest bit of purple. It's mostly taupe. I actually really like this color. Um, I've been wearing it kind of on the lid, um, sometimes by itself, but sometimes under color. But the main place that I've been wearing it is on my lower lash line. It's so pretty. It just adds a little bit of shimmer down there so you can have a little dimension. It doesn't look so naked um, without adding a whole lot of color so that I can really wear it with almost every look that I do. Um, because it's kind of one of those chameleon colors. Like you could wear it with browns, but you could also wear it with grays, and you could also wear it with violets, and you could also wear it with pinks. So I've been getting a lot of use out of this color. I got a second one, and I haven't worn this one as much. I think I've tried it out 
once or twice. You can see it's not nearly as loved as the other one, um, but the color is really fantastic. It's called Violet, um, and it's a very vibrant color. There it is there. And I like it because it's kind of a blue violet color, um, more than a red violet, which I think is really pretty with my eye color. You'll notice, I don't know if you can tell when I swatch this, but it's like really creamy. I mean, it just goes on super smooth. There's no tugging or pulling at all. If you're the kind of person that has allergies or really sensitive eyes, this might work well for you because there's not going to be anything that falls out into the eye to really irritate it. Um, there were more colors than just these two. I just happened to choose these, um, but there are quite a few quite a few colors in this range. There's a lot more products in this particular line from Avon called Everlasting, so I would check those out. Um, these are really awesome little eyeshadow sticks. The last thing I got um, was this little eyeshadow quad, and apparently they're new. I didn't know this when I bought it. Um, I just saw that there were quads available, and I thought, well, this will be a good way to try out the eyeshadow um, that's not in kind of a cream form. So I bought this one, and it is called Berry Love. This color is Soft Nude. This one is Pink Petal. That one over there, number three, is Beige Diamond, and this one is Plum Burgundy. I've done an eyeshadow look with it, which I'll show you here, and it turned out really pretty. Um, the colors aren't super duper pigmented, um, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing because you can really build up with it. There's the four of them swatched on my finger from the nude, the pink, the beige, and the violet. Um, they work really pretty together. I use that amethyst color on the bottom of the eye. I found they lasted fine all day with a primer. It was a really nice little quad here, and I will be doing a um, I'll be doing a tutorial using this, so stay tuned for that. Um, over in all, a great haul from Avon. I'm very impressed with the products. I will leave all of the links below for each product that I purchased as well as Amanda's information and her link to her page where you can purchase from her. She's really super sweet and would be super helpful to um, look for product recommendations. We do in other hauls in the coming months, especially getting close to Christmas, so let me know what other products you might want to see. Um, things that maybe you're wanting to try out that you want me to test out for you first and put those in the comments below. Like this video, find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.